You've got to remember, in 2009 and even before then, Jeremy Corbyn, who's now the leader of the Labour Party, and me, we were both on those protests in Parliament Square. We joined with the Tamil community in this country to well, try to expose what was happening, what as others have described as a genocide that was taking place. That we've seen it, 40,000 deaths. So now in the Labour Party, we have a leader who stood with the Tamil community in the most difficult circumstances and has spoken out on their behalf condemned the Sri Lankan government and what happened, condemned the barbarity in terms of both the killings, the disappearances, the removal of people from their land, the loss of their homes. You've got a Labour leader now who's fundamentally someone who's devoted his life to human rights and campaigning for human rights and has taken up the cause consistently on behalf of the Tamils. Now the difference will be we will now have a Labour government elected where human rights will be at the core of our foreign policy. And that means saying to any government, Sri Lankan or whoever, whoever else, if they're abusing human rights, we will make sure we will isolate them, condemn them, expose what's going on. We will not be selling them arms. In the same way we've campaigned against arms to regimes like Saudi Arabia, we'll do exactly the same as there. And we'll put all, maximise the pressure that we can. We've got, we've got to ensure, I'll give you the example of the... United Nations Human Rights Commission, the investigation. You know, now, another two years it's been given to investigate these war crimes. We will be putting pressure on to ensure there's a proper international com commission, which is time limited, so we know exactly what went on. So in, in Jeremy Corbyn, the difference is this, is that you have someone who's devoted his life to human rights, someone who's devoted his life to ensuring that we have foreign policies that actually abide by human rights, but promote them as well. Uh, I mean, the foreign policy, and normally we see a disconnect between the politics and the foreign yeah. policy here. Yeah. So uh, what kind of kind of concrete steps can we actually exp expect? Because obviously we know that Jeremy and you have been supporters and went on campaigns and so on. But then uh, what what kind of uh, real kind of laws or kind of, you know, tangible effects that will translate? Let's go through it. We've, we've made it clear consistently now where there's a, uh, regimes that abuse human rights, we should not be trading with them, we should not be selling them arms or giving them military support, we should be isolating them, we should be maximising the pressure upon them internationally, particularly through the United Nations. Now that's been our campaigning policy when we were members of parliament and campaigning MPs. We've translated that into Labour Party policy now. So human rights is at our core. Jeremy Corbyn will be the first Prime Minister with that sort of human rights record going back, well, a generation now. And remember, when it came down to it, when the Tamils were suffering most, there weren't many politicians who stood up for them in this country. And Jeremy Corbyn was at the front of that in terms of the campaigning, but also the development of Labour Party policy on that basis.